Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Monica. And I'm Catherine. Our first story. Who's, af who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused of accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr. Wolf claims that hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Isla with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf. Mr. Wolf, you have been caught with charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? What's a young wolf supposed to do? Ask politely to be let inside? No. Big bad wolf gonna huff and puff and blow the house down. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? I'm an actor, darling. The big bad wolf will be whatever is required. What do you have to say to the good people of Faraway Land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? Good people of Faraway Land, come over to my cave. I'll make tea and put your mind at rest. Nothing is required. You are enough. Well, thank you for those interesting thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Good luck with the trial. Back to you in the studio. Now, for news of escaped heroes Hansel and Gretel. The stories captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They've spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, the Hansel and Gretel story. Our reporter, Joseph, was at the book's release in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Hello, I'm, jo I'm, jo I'm Joseph, and this is Hansel and Gretel. They're obviously very rich now, finding all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all that money? Well, we've bought a house with it to get further away from the forest, and that's all we've really done with it. We're planning just to save most of it. Hansel, you're obviously back in great shape after being fat enough for eating. How did you do it? I managed to join a fitness program such as 20 pull-ups and a 10-minute plank and more and eat healthy food for a year. What have you learned through this experience? We've learned not to trust strangers at all. Only your friends and family. Yeah, we've also like made sure not to go into any random person's house. And don't trust strangers. Thank you for your time, Hansel and Riddle. Good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and more poor sales of their album DeWitt, sources are saying that Happily Ever After might not last much longer. We now go to our reporter, Jasmine. Thanks, Monica. And hello everyone, I'm Jasmeet here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. And hello and smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story, where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it all going with you two? It's not going so great. I just... Everything's lovely. We've never been happier. So you're something of a beauty, beauty. And you're, and you're a total beast. Beast? What is the reality of living with someone who's completely different from you? Beauty is always cleaning and has to make everything look perfect. Well, I wouldn't have to if you didn't ruin everything. Your recent duet album did not sell well, and your fashion label has gone bust. What next for you to love? We're looking at filming a reality TV show, so everyone can take a look into our lovely and glamorous lives. So glamorous. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for the future. Back to the studio. Thanks, Jasmine. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Sam and Joel, who will have the fairest weather of them all this week. Well, it'll be a mix of fear and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be, well, deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow, white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread, because it'll be fee far for freezing. Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. 
and otherwise it's happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Sam and Joel. Finally tonight, long-haired tower dweller Rapunzel is suing the Sleeping Beauty hair salon. Her stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hair dryer, so the result was a haircut so terrible that it threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's a reporter, Edward. Thank you. I'm here outside court where the first day of the lawsuit has just finished, and here come Princess Rapunzel and her stylist now. How did you react when you first saw what happened to your hair? I was quite devastated. I couldn't believe what I saw. What, what do you have to say about the owner of the Sleeping Beauty Salon who ruined your hair, career and reputation? You're done. I'm gonna sue you. Your company's gonna be gone. Well, what, what are you going to do about your hair now and do you think it can be fixed? By the looks of it, it looks like it's never gonna be fixed. It's just gonna stay like this forever. Never. Never. Okay. Well, the Wall Street any well, thank you for your time. Back to the studio. That's all for tonight. Although we've just had word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview, he's hungry, angry, and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from the whole team at uh, once upon a crime. Good night. <laughs> oh. <laughs>